Hello Varlets! The latest comlink has just dropped and in it contains a little bit of juicy content that hints at what the update coming at the end of the month is expected to contain. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Rejects. Last week we saw the release of patch number 5 and hotfix 1.0.36, which were focused primarily on quality of life changes, bug fixes and a couple of small buffs for Psyker and Ogryn. Towards the end of March, We'll release a small content drop containing some additional tools for you to help in the fight against the heretics of Tertium. Here is a sneak peek of the two of the weapons you will find included. Oh yeah. So, the first one we're gonna get is the Iron Helm Mark IV Thunder Hammer. And look at that. Isn't that a beautiful hammer? It reads, These Thunder Hammers have a weapon special that gives players some cleave before triggering some extra damage when stopping. So right off the bat, I think this hammer fulfills a niche in between the Crusher, which is largely purely for crowd control, and the existing Thunder Hammer, which is massive single target damage. So by the sound of it, when you activate, you kind of have the same power sword as the Vet, where you get an increased amount of cleave and damage. But the additional part of it seems to be if you hit something probably armored in the middle of a mixed hot, then that armored target will probably take a burst of damage. Now it could be a fixed amount of damage or it could be triggered depending or it could be depending on the amount of enemies you cleaved before stopping at the armor target. In either case, I look forward to having a hammer that actually can deal with hordes as opposed to the current one which just knocks everything all over the place and doesn't really handle hordes very well. The next weapon we have on the list is the Deimos Mark II Blaze Force Sword. Rejoice my siblings for we now have another force melee weapon. This four sword employs more of a thrusting attack pattern that is great against armored single target enemies. Now, technically the one we currently have is also really used for single targets because it doesn't function very well as a horde clearer since it can only cleave three enemies at once. I assume the weapon special will still be the same as our existing four sword however. Moving on, furthermore we'll be deploying a couple of new conditions and some modified versions of already existing conditions which you will be able to see on the mission board in the coming weeks. So one of these new missions could possibly be one of the modifiers that we already know of, which is, I think it's called Assault, where we were supposed to get more ammunition drops throughout the mission, but much less healing. Uh, I don't know what does it mean by less healing. Do we get less uh, Medicaid charges or do we get less medipacks available? I guess we'll have to find out when it drops. Now, on to some questions. Material pickup prompt. We've seen the community feedback on the recent patch that added a new notifications when picking up crafting resources. We'll be looking at implementing a toggle for this option in the interim so you can choose to opt out of the notifications. Personally, I don't really mind having these notifications. I think there's also always a, a slight dopamine hit when you see a whole wall of materials being picked up by your teammates. I think it's also very useful because it tells you what your teammate is trying to do. And if you see two other teammates in front of you who are fighting and then there's you and you see a material being picked up, it could be that your teammate is still behind. And so that could tell you to maybe don't push so far ahead and wait up for your teammate to catch up. It's, it is useful information, I, I personally find. We're also reviewing the HUD in general with how it works and providing both feedback and information. So please let us know your thoughts on the current HUD and what you would like to see going forward. Off the top of my head, the most useful things we could have is probably detailed HP bars so we know how much health we have and how many hits we can take. Uh, a percentage ammo count so we know whether they have 50%, 30%, 70% ammo. That's very useful to see at a glance. And of course, blessing icons. I think it would be, I think everyone was kind of expecting you to be able to see whether your blessings are active or not. That would be very useful information to know and, and have the HUD display that. Finally, something to do with a can opener blessing. Some players have been asking about a bug with the can opener blessing on the full rend ripper guns. We will add a bug fix in the upcoming content drop so that the brittleness will only be applied on stab attack. So for those of you who aren't in the know about what's going on with the ripper guns, right now it's shots. The shotgun blast from the ripper gun applies can opener. So these shots can pierce through carapace armor and that is making it really good to use because it feels like you can actually do something against crushers. On the other hand, it is a bug and they're trying to fix it. But alongside this bug fix, we will add a few buffs to the full Ren Ripper guns, including doubling the stacks of brittleness per stab, increasing the stagger capabilities, increasing the damage and armor penetration per stab, and some changes to movement penalties. 
Detailed patch notes will go live shortly after the content drop releases. I I don't really see these buffs as being the point of why people like this bug. The point is the fact that you could do something against crushers from a distance. If you have to run up to a crusher, stab it and then shoot it, you, I mean, I guess it works still, but you kind of remove the safety from using a gun, which is a ranged weapon in the first place. But I guess we'll find out. We can only infer so much from just reading the patch notes here. For all we know, the Ripper guns might become meta just from these changes alone. So yeah, that brings us to the end of this short comms link. Obviously, most of the detailed stuff will come next week in the patch, and you can be sure I'll be there to cover it, especially uh, testing the two new weapons here to find out how much better they are, what they do, and maybe any hidden mechanics that we can capitalize on. Until the next one, Violets. <laughs>